never do it. Because I also don't know what the next slide will be. No, I know uh, the next slide is oh, when you go to the tab. Movie. Oh, oh. Uh, escape, just, maybe? Just press tab. Or Chrome? No, no, here. Where's the... After George shows you get all from over there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is IT. <laughs> 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 Have you tried turning it off and turning it on again? <laughs> Is it plugged in? <laughs> so, another helpful and essential part of our ecosystem is the nonprofit that helps hold us together. So, community helps organize the big DrupalCon. I'm speaking, of course, about the Drupal Association. Here is a quick full screen, three minute word from Holly Ross, the executive director of the Drupal Association. Press tab. Space. Space. Press tab. And, and next time you see her, thank her for that. Um, my 16-year-old daughter also has a patch in her hand. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> um, but if it's my DNA, right, it counts at least to half of that patch. Right? <laughs> nope. No? No? Nope. Oh, okay. 
Um, so, uh huh. Yes, everyone. Go back to the full screen. Oh. I don't know what I have on my desktop actually. <laughs> No, it's a special Google yeah. extra command. So, um, everyone, please. Oh, this is great. So, I want everyone to thank our bronze sponsors, Finlet and. Oh. I found out what they say at Commerce Guy. <laughs> it's platform.sh, right? So, everyone, thank Finlet and Platform. <laughs> Three more categories and then we can go to dinner. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> so, um, some more fun facts and figures. We don't have those. Awesome. Because <laughs> I had enough of that. Um, although, speaking of facts and figures, um, I have to tell my 14 year old a lot. I have to say, that's nice. You're allowed your own opinions. You're not allowed your own facts. <laughs> um, so, you know, at my, at my household, I'm trying to put through um, data, not opinion. So, publish the, the, oh, ah, that thing. Ah. So listen, I was talking with Nancy before. Um, because we're friends, and because Nancy's, I don't get to see you often enough. <laughs> and and I was talking with uh, Taco in the break, and um, Taco was a little bit worried setting this thing up because in Drupal, we have this whole idea of community and helping each other and standing on the shoulders of giants, right, and never write the same code twice. And Drupal is not only the largest and most active open source project in the world, but we're really notoriously the opposite of an RTFM culture. We're really helpful, we're really, you know, welcoming to newcomers, like the nice people, right? So, see, now I don't know where to put my trash. So, um, Nancy didn't win in the contribution category, and she said, oh, but it was really nice that I was nominated. That really feels, you know, good. And I have to say, as a judge, there was no crap that every single thing that I had to look at and, and then rate, right, everything was great. And it's on its own merits. It's making a difference. It's paying your rent. It's helping your company. It's whatever it's doing, right? So this is something actually that we should really celebrate. The fact that we have an incredible community around us. We have incredibly high quality, wonderful nominations in all the categories, okay? So let's remember that this is not really about winning and losing. It's an acknowledgement. Every single entry was great, and this shows how powerful and what a great community and what a strong technology you have. And this is only going to get better when we finally get Drupal 8 out the door. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone who was nominated, please come up and collect one of these lovely commemorative um, paperweight desk decoration <laughs> holder things because you're awesome. Woohoo! Yeah. We can do it after the last award, yeah. maybe. Okay, let's say let's put it this way. <laughs> Everyone who was nominated, there's one of these in here for you. Cool. But thank you. It's not about winning. It's about we are awesome. Woo. Right, publishing and media platforms that offer fast and frequent offer new content offerings. That's what we're talking about. Um, uh huh. So this is, no, wait, wait, wait. Now, I was just in Belgium the other day, and I was noticing that they pronounce these things different. So I'm going to guess that this is Dutch, right, and that it's. Tauzards. Mm. No, okay. Oh. Oh, what was it? Ik wil met je trouwen. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Arts. No, Arts. Tauzards. Yeah. Tauzards. Yeah. Tau yeah. Close enough. Oh, close enough. Tauzards. Tauzards. Okay. Tauzards. Okay. Tauzards. 
By one shoot, Michel van Velde is, is still not here. This was, however, nominated because it's the number one public health information website in the Netherlands, and it has more than 300,000 articles attracting almost two million visitors every month, and it's a great example how to present a very, very large amount of content in a user-friendly manner. Super awesome, thank you, one shoot. So, RNW, built by RNW. Um, so, <coughs> RNW, RNW, who knows what RNW is? I forgot. Radio Netherlands. Ah, oh, right, yes, yes. So, uh, um, the form, like, so, like Radio Free Europe, right? The old, before the wall came down, broadcaster has turned into this thing called RNW. And um, their website provides their stakeholders, partners, media organizations, and NGOs with accessible information on all of their worldwide activities. They created rnw.org. This is an in-house build. The first version of this website went online in September 2013 and um, reports in English on their regional stories um, and then also offers translations in Mandarin, Arabic, Spanish, French, uh, putting them into context, explaining results. It's a great tool for global communication. Thank you, RNW. <laughs> so that's like Radio Netherlands Worldwide, something like that? Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. And can you, we already talked about them, the new content management system and platform built on Drupal by the, before the Flemish government, nominated in this case because it's still, um, you know, Drupal as a service and all that, but it's managing an incredible amount of information publishing for the Flemish government organizations. Thank you, Paddle. <laughs> I film their website by Limon Grun. They have, uh, it says here that I is a great Drupal user. They have multiple Drupal websites, including ifilm.nl. It, uh, the site contains, it, extensive Dutch film, film archive material and an advanced movie list. The special design is also sort of unique to this site. So this <laughs> building that they're housed in, the whole website has a, has a, has a sort of a slanted design um, and uh, a very broad range of content. It was nominated because it was built using panels and page managers, managers empowering editors within the organization to build advanced landing pages themselves and uh, the website is multilingual in Dutch and English and uses Solar Search as the back end. Thank you, Limon Run. <laughs> oh. Is that only three? I don't know who's counting. Right, so the winner is, the winner is, oh, now I have to say it again. Taus Arts <laughs> by one shoe. Congratulations, one shoe. Off into the canal with that one. <laughs> huh? That is no excuse. <laughs> no. It's the first Splash Awards. Right. It will only happen once. Okay, we're in the canal now. We can write on it with a, with a Sharpie pen. <laughs> Give it to, like, let's make a new prize. No <laughs> moustaches. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, government. Platforms, platforms built for governments, um, local, state, national government projects, or even political parties are all part of this category. SP.nl by Hoppinger, Hoppinger, Hoppinger. Um, SP, so I was talking with a, a, a political party in Australia who uses Drupal, who politically is probably Almost as far away as you can get from these people, but um, <laughs> uh, so you know the Australian Liberal Party, the the, the governing party, and um, when they say liberal in Australia, they mean like yeah, liberal. <laughs> <laughs> they use Drupal, and they use Drupal for the same reason that the Mitt Romney campaign used Drupal, and the Obama campaign used Drupal, and the White House uses Drupal, and um, <laughs> it's a great platform for communication and for getting a message out fast and for targeting for all the stuff that we love to do with Drupal, right? So here, when they're talking about sp.nl, they say the, initial, the, the issue in politics is uh, putting people in touch with the stories that matters and um, 
the old SP website was simply a platform for broadcasting these messages, and the new uh, platform is one for interacting with constituents, which is, um, you know, what a CMS that specializes in user-generated content should be doing, so that's great. Um, and the website is designed to get new voters involved online, and um, it's supposed to activate and inspire people. It was nominated because the um, project's working with not only with Drupal, but also with code on GitHub, um, and so there's a, there's a Huffinger, um uh, distro or, or functionality package called Kraftwagen, which is available on GitHub for this. Thank you very much for that. Hopping her. <laughs> We've got this one. Can you is awesome. It was built by Paddle. Um, this is very clearly a government website and very clearly a very interesting thing. Thank you again, Paddle. <laughs> we also saw Drupal for Hemanton already and um, super awesome because it's being used live by two municipalities already and eight more are adopting it uh, in the near future. Thank you very much, Easy Company, for that. <laughs> right, and the National Ombudsman built by Swiss, S-W-I-S. The idea behind this website is that um, it, it provides a portal for any Dutch citizen to contact the National Ob Ombudsman directly, simply, and quickly. Um, it's set up with the end user in mind. A lot of effort when designing the customer journey and the workflows. So really simple forms, easy to use, uh, compared to the old implementation, which was in Drupal 6. And there is a lot of emphasis on getting the text and the content right. Um, and it also, uh, um, it says here that it compli uh, complies with essential Web, government web guidelines, which I assume mean accessibility and security, which is great. Um, it, ho ho, and it was nominated because it is the largest Drupal 8 website in the Netherlands. Super awesome, thank you, Swiss. <laughs> and the winner is... The local government distro from Easy Company. Yay! Overhead. Overhead. Hey, I'm Jack. Dennis. Nice to meet you. Yes, thank you. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, so the um, so the um, this distro. Yes. Uh. Did you design it as a tool to make your 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 business work faster and more efficiently, primarily, or um, you know how much of a the idea was also helping uh, other people implement these things out in the wild? Yeah, especially the the last one because um, yeah, a lot of uh, uh, how do you say it uh, uh, municipalities yeah uh, yeah it goes to all kinds of uh, companies build everything from the start you know uh -huh. and yeah we uh, designed something um, uh, you can uh, install it and uh, with it yeah my english is like uh, louis van Gaal, you know <laughs> <laughs> it's in a, in a, it's in Use a child's shoes <laughs> but he managed yeah yeah no it, it, so you, you can with this distro, you, you, c you can yeah, start a whole uh, municipal website uh, yeah, w with, with, how do you say it, with not much uh, effort, not right. much cost. So this is, a, this is an open source superpower. Yes. We can create a solution that, that, that helps people and then just hand it out. So one of the tricks that I like to do in my presentation is to say, imagine in the old days that you're a government and you want to change the world, right? Because that's what governments do. And you have... 100 money to spend. The battery on that camera is running out. <laughs> you, have, you have 100 money to spend. In the old, how the world used to work, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to spend 100 money on a bridge between these two places and then commerce and people can move and then there's going to be more economy, right? Or I can spend 100 money on vaccine or I can spend 100 money on bombs. And however that changes the world, it's done and I've spent my money and then I'm done. Okay. But if I spend a hundred money as a government mm -hmm. on open source infrastructure,